What's going on guys, it's Colossus Fitness, your number one forum guides and coaches, um, bringing you another installment to the how-to series, how to stiff leg deadlift, let's get right into it. First and foremost, let's break down the difference between a stiff leg deadlift and a Romanian deadlift. Personally, I use these pretty interchangeably in my programming, but I know a lot of people will want to know the key differences, so we're going to get a little technical. On the left, or on this side of the screen, I suppose, your right side, you're going to see me doing the stiff leg deadlift. Over here, you're going to see the Romanian deadlift. So the simple difference is the stiff is very strict. My legs are as straight as possible without locking out those knees, because that's going to create a lot of pressure, and that's when things get sketchy. You never want to lock out a joint, same with bicep curls, you're just putting too much tension on the knee or the elbow. And we want to avoid that, but I'm getting that maximum stretch trying to get all the way down to the floor Keeping my back back really really tight and locking out those hips with power Romanian is a little bit more lax over here. You can see I got a little bit of bend in the knees I'm not so much touching the floor I'm just getting a little bit of a stretch and really focusing on that hip extension at the top Locking out with power being under control you can go a little bit heavier for Romanians Whereas stiffs you really want nice slow temples and a good stretch Okay guys, so now on to the three common mistakes. Common mistake number one is improper bar path. I see this way too often. Far too many people have the bar way too far away from them and this is gonna put a lot of unwanted stress on your lower back. By simply keeping it nice and tight, dragging it along your shins and your legs, it's gonna help you push back and load those hamstrings and get the most out of the exercise. Bro, bro, your back's rounding. I don't care, 225, buddy. <sighs> And this is another massive common mistake is just taking this exercise and turning it into a regular deadlift. Deadlifts are great, but the goal here is to really target those glutes, those hamstrings. So many people will load up way too much weight and then they'll just turn into a deadlift, get their hips to shoot up too early, bend the knees too much, and that's not how a stiff leg deadlift is done. And common mistake number three is not extending the right way. So many people are extending and locking out with their back, but not pushing their hips all the way through. This is how you guys get the most out of this exercise. Pushing the glutes, squeezing at the end, you're getting full work of the hamstrings, you're not just working your back here, so make sure to do this to get the most out of this exercise. All right, so we're gonna knock out the A to Z here as quick as we can with as much detail as we can. We like leading with the mistakes. I know some of you guys think that's a little opposite, but I find when you can identify the mistakes, it makes doing the exercise a lot easier. Now, before we move forward, we're gonna go ahead and put a quick plug. We're online coaches and we're all personal trainers, so if you're in Toronto, definitely check us out. And if you're anywhere in the world, feel free to check out our online coaching. We can help transform your life, guys. Whether it's bulking or cutting, you're gonna have an aid to help you through it. We're gonna look at your forum videos, we're gonna have check-ins, we're gonna hold you accountable, and we're really gonna help you transform your life. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. First and foremost, are you new stiff or are you new Romanian? This really depends on your mobility level. I would avoid stiff legs, guys, if you can't kind of just touch your toes with your legs dead straight that means you probably don't have the mobility and that's okay you can do Romanians for now and you can build up to that level of mobility doing that exercise with control will really help get you there so this is a big debate but for my first um, kind of rep I like just doing a normal deadlift I find lifting like here is kind of sketchy so I just do a normal deadlift and pop it up here okay you're gonna stand strong now for stiff leg for the purpose of this we're gonna show you Romanian you're just gonna do it with a bit more slack so you're gonna let that bar kind of scrape down your knees Drop below your knees, and once you get to this level, you're gonna stick your butt out as much as you can, and envision that you're lifting those toes a little bit, putting tension on that heel as low as you're comfortable with that back strong. And you power up, push those hips through, and keep that up. That's about it, it's pretty simple. The main thing is putting the tension on those heels, sticking that butt out, and really just arcing as far back as you're comfortable without completely locking out those knees. Always keep a strong back, so you can see. We need that tension in the back. The second the back rounds, Put the weight down, lower it, become more experienced. Play with tempo, tempos, guys. Slow negatives really help. You will get there. Okay, guys, so first link in the description is our coaching. We have two spots available. Sign up now because these will go fast. Second link in the description um, is going to be our form guide. We have about 30 exercises. It will send right to your email with information to help you out with your form so that way you guys can bring it right into the gym, take a look at it, look through, am I doing this right, and sign up and it will uh, go right to your email. So anyways, guys, Smash that like button if you enjoyed it. Please share this with a friend because there are so many people doing these exercises improperly. We have a playlist of over 30 videos, so share those with your friend too. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.